Hey guys, so it's time to go ahead and do some benchmark comparisons with another uh, program I've been using um, M22 benchmark test. This time it's time to go ahead and check out Geekbench. So I have my Google Nexus 7 over here versus my Samsung Galaxy 10.1, Android 4.1.1 versus Android 4.1.4. Even though I said uh, I did see today that Android uh, 4.1 Jelly Bean for the Galaxy Note 10.1 has been leaked, but I'm not gonna talk right now because I'm using my Galaxy Note 10.1 in my daily life. Uh, of course, Tegra 3 quad core here on the Google Nexus 7 versus uh, Samsung's own chipset uh, that they have in the Galaxy S3 and that they also use in the Galaxy Note 10.1 with the chipset 4412, uh, clocked at 1.4 GHz quad core. So let's go ahead and do this. And as you can see, also we have 2 GB of RAM, something I forget sometimes about the Galaxy Note 10.1. 2 GB of RAM on this bad boy, 1 GB of RAM on the Google Nexus 7. So let's go ahead and run the benchmarks. And I'm not sure for how long this uh, will go on, so I'll just go ahead and fire up mine on an iPad. And I'm pretty sure they have the Geekbench, yes, they have Geekbench for the Apple iPad as well. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is pretty interesting. So we get a higher score uh, with uh, with the, the Google Nexus 7 over here versus the Galaxy Note 10.1. That's pretty interesting. A floating point, let's see, integer, 1000, we got much more integers on this boy. I'm not sure what that means. We get also more floating points. Memory, the Google Nexus 7 also won there. Okay, that, that's interesting. It's kind of weird. This one has 2 gigabytes, but it's still loose in the Geekbench. Maybe it's something with the program, because if it's weird because in answer to benchmark test, it was, you know, reversed. Let's see. Uh, stream also uh, 268, only on Nexus 7, but 650 over here. Not quite sure what this means though, but that is, that's pretty interesting. You know, interesting. Untapping anything else like open up in the background. Mm -hmm. But I, th I think it's extremely interesting how that thing works. So in this test, the Google Nexus 7 actually won. So yeah, that's pretty great. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you all in the next video. Yes, bye bye.